Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to .NET Techie. So today I have something very very interesting for you, which you will not find out in Google and which you will not find out in YouTube. So what's that? Basically today I am trying to use see how we can use the AG grid in Angular 5, which has been said that the word West grid. So let's see how we can use the AZ grid in Angular 5. On top of that, we will also see the performance of the AZ grid. How uh, the performance is. If we are loading lakhs of records in a moment. So, in order to start with the AZ grid, first of all, what you need to do. I hope uh, you have gone through my basic tutorial and you know how to run Angular 5 projects. So when I say this, you must know the... Uh, must have installed this uh, node and uh, angular cli all right so i assume that we have already installed it and let's see what are the steps which i have written for you simply this is the first step ng new az grid demo by dot net i am creating it so all right this is the first step second thing just check whether project is running or not Third thing, npm install hyphen hyphen save az hyphen grid angular az grid. So this will install uh, basically the az grid on uh, your project. After that, if you wanted to use the az grid themes and CSS, you just include these things in your angular cli.json and run the project if it is working fine. So that's what we need to have uh, on the basic side. So before showing you how, how to bind the AG grid, how to put the HTML on uh, page and how it will reference to your PS file, let me show you what I am. So I am trying to bind the data from my database which is there are lots of records bringing into web api and then my angular application will call my web api and so show you the data once data comes before data gets loaded and uh, after data gets loaded we will calculate the time as well so let's uh, have uh, just a few seconds on uh, the web api part these are my one lakhs records into my table which i would like to show into my angular application and see how the az grid is performing for this one okay so let's see how i have uh, achieved this one lakh record insertion in a very easy manner maybe you you might have some better uh, idea to do that but uh, yeah if you have please comment down on below so what i did i have created the uh, one uh, the service web api restful service which i say and i have inserted the record manually by looping by 30 or 50,000 or whatever the record i would like to insert at one go with some different value and this is my method which will uh, pick up all one lakhs records and return to angular service so this was the web api part where i have shown you like one lakhs of record in the database and this api is bringing the lakhs of records for me now let's see okay so once you have installed your uh, angular ji stuff how my module.ps looks like okay so where is uh, the with respect to the ag grid this is only single line of the code over here you need to import az grid module from az grid angular hyphen main okay once you have imported it you need to put that thing into import sections as well so here we have put import and i have used import with the components so just do not worry about that thing because i am using another component to color the uh, uh, row column basically so at this moment you should not worry about this just follow this tutorial and you will be able to do it let's see okay so this was my module.ts let's see where is my page so i will just uh, first i will show you the code what all things you need to do and uh, how you can achieve it okay let's go to the html so here is my html i hope you are able to see it let me uh, collapse it uh, back okay all right so this is my html uh, which says uh, uh, this is just a header do not worry about that thing so this is the part which is bringing me the az grid so az hyphen grid is the selector and uh, i am uh, asking here uh, the template for az grid and i am giving height width and the particular theme this is the grid option which is very very important if you wanted to create az grid you need to assign the grid option so grid option where it will come from it will come from the ts file so let's go to the respective ts file and see what all things i have imported it and how i have achieved it so this is my respective ts file let's go on top all right 
so i have component http module for in order to call the web api or restful service this is panel module do not worry then that is for the angular js this is the grid option which i have imported from there and this is another components all right this is grid option i have initialized over here and then we have a start time in time and api url in the constructor i have http client application reference and chain reaction strategy and all those things all right so uh, okay so i will what i'm doing over here this is the part where i'm calling my web api and bringing the data so my data has come on the result which i have assigned based on customers so all the customer data i'm bringing bringing from the database and i'm showing over here so this is grid option in the grid options we have the column definition what column you would like to bind load so in this manner you can give the column definition once column definition has been given by you then grid needs the data what data row data it needs row data which you need to assign over here just do not worry about this detect changes i will uh, let you know what's that so this is how we will bring the data and we will show the data into the ui so that was the part with respect to the az grid and this grid options is getting used in my html file all right which i have already shown it this is the grid option over here so in m uh, component you have just imported grid options and here you have given the variable as a grid options and you are trying to use it calling the api so this all part what i am doing i am calculating the time what's the current time with the millisecond at this moment and i'm just uh, displaying that time as a start time after that i'm calling the web api bringing the lacks of records and showing into the ui once record came on the success over here i'm again taking a note down the time and showing in the ui by the way this is my customer model which is having uh, 20 columns and uh, it's a huge data lacks of records with the 20 columns i'm gonna to display it over here so uh, that was the part of module.ts and uh, let's go over here how my application looks and what's the performance so this is gray, uh, grid demo az grid demo by dotnet techie so at this moment i am uh, showing you only az grid later i will compare with the prime ng grid then slick demo and then jqx grid demo all the grid demo i will show and what's the performance which one is the better so let's see which grid loads the lacks of records in minimal time so let me click on the az grid over here and it has gone and bringing the data from my base api so it uh, gone i don't have any breakpoint on web api so it should bring the data and it should record the time i hope it should do the job let's see what's happening on the background all right uh, let's wait for the moment <laughs> all right so here you go so it has loaded all one lakhs of records with 27 over year and 34 over years so approximately seven seconds so just uh, many times i have loaded it on six seconds if you wanted to see the data like yeah here you go so let me put it there and let's come down over here yeah you must be able to see all the data over here and it's getting loaded so my point is that it has loaded the data for me in basically six seconds so the as of now our performance test is almost successful and az grid is doing good job for me and it is loading the data one lakhs of the record in six seconds so here is the last record here is the last record id of my data which i have shown over here and if uh, all right uh, let me see control homes so thanks for watching please subscribe and comment on my video if you want code i will provide